y'all welcome to my channel today i thought it would be fun to put two different products to the test on either sides of my hair and see what the results are like and so today i will be using the diva curl styling cream and the diva curl super cream both are pretty similar products um they claim to define and control your hair keep it frizz free curls pop in etc and so i'm going to be using the styling cream on this side and the super cream on this side both come in 5.1 ounces and both are similar prices so I just thought it would be fun to see um, what the results are like. So if you want to see which product I think works best, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with freshly washed clean hair as always and I like to begin with sectioning my hair just to make it easier to apply the products. I'm going to be using the styling cream on the right side of my hair and I'm just starting off with spraying a little bit of water. I'm going to be clipping up the front section of my hair before I get started. And for a leave-in, I'll be using the Shea Moisture Leave-In just to add some extra moisture to my hair. I take a pretty small amount and just make sure that I run that all throughout my hair and make sure that I focus on the ends because those tend to get pretty dry for me. Now I'm going to apply the styling cream and I just use two pumps for each section because a little of this goes a long way. Next I like to take this brush I got from Sally Beauty and just go through one more time to make sure the products are all evenly distributed and my hair is tangled and not free. So I do the exact same thing with the front section using the same products in the same order and same steps. And I like to take um, a little bit of the cream and just smooth down my edges to get those tamed. I don't really use edge control anymore. And lastly, I'm taking um, some of the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel and just running that all throughout this half of my hair for a little bit of extra hold. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other half of my hair, but using the super cream instead. So with my hair wet, these are the results. Both sides of my hair are very moisturized and feeling pretty good. So after several hours, this is my hair dry and it is very um, shrunken up right now so I like to go through and kind of separate some of the curls that are too big just to give it more volume. Thank you. 
So also just to kind of like stretch my hair out more on the first day, it is very, very short and shrunk and I kind of like to elongate my curls more. And so I like to take um, a couple of scrunchies and do the banding method where you just um, put several scrunchies on your hair to stretch it out. And first I like to separate my hair in half and then I just put two scrunchies on um, either side really loosely so it doesn't um, crease your hair or anything and so I put one and then on the end I might wrap it around twice um, and this is one side and then I do the same thing with the other side and I actually got this method from my little sister who I saw doing this so shout out to her for teaching me this trick and I will leave it like this for five or ten minutes and then take it out so it's just a little bit more stretched out so I'll be right back So these are the final results after being dry and this is the same day it's day one hair. Um, honestly, they kind of look and feel the exact same. Um, I mean both products claim to do the exact same thing and are very similar so um, I would say it's a tie. They both um, gave me the same results. So based on the products and the results that they gave me doing the exact same thing on both sides but this side with styling cream and this side with super cream, if I had to choose one I really wouldn't say I have a preference because they both perform well but the only difference I would say is that the styling cream is $26 and for some reason the super cream is $28 so if it really really came down to it I would buy the styling cream just to save two dollars but usually I buy all my diva curl stuff at Ulta and I shop there so fre frequently that I have points and so usually I don't pay full price um, sometimes you can even find diva curl at some targets and if you have a red card save five percent so if the two dollar price difference doesn't really matter to you then I basically would say these two products um, for me at least in my hair they work the exact same